Hi, Glynis. I'm really excited about going through the two photos that you sent for your portfolio review. So let's begin. Now this first shot, it looks to me like a shot from Stockholm. And um, what I think we need to initially do is two things. We need to straighten the picture. It's a little bit uh, rotated clockwise. But also, more importantly, a lot of people um, they wonder why their photos seem to be f the the buildings seem to be falling back, and this is a result of using a wide-angle lens where your camera is pointing upward. This is quite normal, and a lot of software has the ability to adjust for this architectural uh, situation where buildings fall backward. Now I'm currently using Adobe Lightroom CC. However, there's many different ways and apps and software to straighten architecture. The easiest way actually is to let the software do it itself. So I'm going to go to geometry that's in Lightroom CD, Lightroom CC. And I'm simply going to go to full. We'll see what happens. Okay, so do you see when I went to full, that means that I'm telling the software to do a full analysis of the entire picture and to give me straight vertical lines. So what it did it saw everything that should be vertical, like the drain um, pipe, the edge of the building, and it made it as vertical as possible. Now, of course, there's drawbacks. When you do something like this, you have all this white space, and you're actually going to lose resolution. But if you are an architectural stickler like I am, then maybe it's worth it. So, well, let's find out. So we're going to go to Constrain Crop, and what this will do was, is just sort of uh, crop into the area. Now, the first thing we'll see is that we lost the street. Well, let's go to our Y offset. We're just going to adjust so we can see the street again. Okay, and we're just going to go as far, as low as possible. Okay, so this looks good. Now, we were able to retain the beautiful cobblestone streets and, of course, have a fairly decent uh, straightness in the picture. Now, let's go to the before. Here's the before. And here's the after. So, it looks like we, uh, we did well with a, a nice straight shot. Um, because this is a JPEG and it's not a raw file, what I'm going to show you next probably won't do very much, but Whenever we have a situation where we have um, sort of a too bright sky because of clouds, if you go to your highlights and just reduce the highlights, it uh, usually brings details back into the clouds. It's not a real deal breaker in this situation. Uh, it's, it won't be an issue at all. Okay, so I really love this shot. It, it makes me feel like um, getting on an airplane and heading back to Europe. Good work. It's, it did its job. It makes me want to walk the cobblestone streets. Okay, so let's get you to your second picture, Glynis. And when I saw this, I didn't need any explanation. It's a photo of Riga, Latvia, my second home. And uh, last year I lived there for almost a year and I absolutely loved it. So when I saw this picture, I said, oh, it's a great shot. And uh, I've been there so many times photographing the same fellow photographing the same tuba that is always sitting there. And um, I've seen this guy too, many times. So this brought back great memories. First thing we're gonna do is go to um, our straightening because we need to do a little bit of a straightening here. We want this line to be vertical. And also when we're dealing with what we call them extraneous elements or elements that um, are too distracting, over here, this window and all of this detail, even though it's really good detail, architecturally speaking and visually speaking, it's actually distracting from the main subject. So what we're going to do is get rid of it. Don't ever be afraid to crop. Cropping is your friend. I always encourage people to crop. So let's crop that. So now we have a tighter composition. Um, this man is the primary subject. And it's debatable whether this man is the secondary subject or the tuba is the secondary subject. Regardless, you have, what you have to ask yourself is, does this element here, this visual element, add or detract to the picture? Well, because I know that this is a, a brace 
a supporting brace for the building, um, I, I believe that it should stay in. It's something that's historic. Um, I think, if I recall, these buildings are from like the 1600s or something. So let's keep this in. However, this modern light, this uh, flood lamp, is going to get the axe. We're going to totally get rid of it because it doesn't have any historic value and it just detracts, it distracts. We don't want it. So let's just get rid of it. And you can do that many ways. Um, you can do that through the healing brush in Lightroom CC or any other app, like maybe you use an iPhone or an Android, an iPad. You can use apps like uh, Photoshop Fix or Touch Retouch. They all do a great job at getting rid of stuff that you don't want. Okay, so I like that. This is a very good, strong composition now. And it's, let me show you the original. And now let me show you the cropped. I feel that this really sings out. It's strong and it tells a story. Okay, Glennis, those are the two pictures that you sent me. Uh, I enjoyed the memories of my old hometown. And thank you so much for sending them in. Have an awesome day.